Grapevine podcast for the week of May 11th, 2012. I can't believe that it is over a week into May. Spoiler. Mm-hmm. You are Sarah Lima for those new people listening. Oh, that's I'm right. I'm Tony Guerrero. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure. Tony's the uh, editor-in-chief of Comic Vine. So no Corey today, no James today, no Norm, no one. <sighs> oh boy, that sucks. I, I don't know what, what thought comes to your head when I'm, I'm hearing this. It's not that bad. No. You just hit the jackpot. I don't like you. Uh, I have to go. Peace out. Get a new job? Wait. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's, let's do this. Great interview, by the way. If you don't like it, that's fine. Pew. Peace, wait. It's a lonely podcast. Whatever. One of the questions was, is, is the redemption rate? So if like Avengers vs. X-Men number one. I'm not crazy about Avengers vs. X-Men. I think it's a generational thing. They said they're seeing about like a, a three to oh boy. eight. Or no, mm-hmm. I mean, it was like close to uh-huh. 10% redemption rate. Mm-hmm. Yet on our yeah. community, mm-hmm. people are like uh-huh. not really liking it so much. Mm-hmm. People have a problem with mm-hmm. that. I don't, I don't know why. Buying the it's comics digitally along with all the print. Yeah. It'd be tricky mm-hmm. to make that work. The other interesting thing yeah. about that interview, mm-hmm. I don't know the conversion ratio, because as we know, DC charges an extra dollar. I paid 28. That's the question. Their response was something about content and gauging this and that. And it was one of those. Mm, wow. That was great. So it's, it's going to be very interesting. It's not interesting. So mm-hmm. There's going to be some, some crazy things happening. Mm-hmm. I don't know. The future of digital comics. It's just not interesting. Obviously, you know. Enough. I won't say anymore. That was really upsetting to me. That was intentional. Say justice is served. What was I going to say? Who knows? Oh, yeah. I'm only going to review four comics. Favorite comic of the week. Cool. Captain America number 11. So this is Ed Brubaker still. I don't with believe Alan Davis. that. I think his art's great. Yeah. You know, I loved it from the beginning. But I'm going to read it. Just don't shake your head. I love Alan Davis. <laughs> so <laughs> there's going to be... Some some crazy things happening. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, I love Alan Davis. Yep. I really enjoyed that issue. That's not a surprise. Deathstroke number nine. Chime bomb. They, they rebooted it again. Really? Um, not as good. Deathstroke didn't get a five. Rob Liefeld wasn't happy with the review. He was rude, insulting. You know, Rob kept bringing it up and he, he just didn't let it go. So that kind of sucks. I think he's sweet. Are you, you, you insane? You know, he's just like an empty shell. I even tweeted it. He had his, his PR lady issue out a statement. Really? Come on. She is so weak. She moves like Nightwing. That's what I think. So I was like, this is great. I am not really liking this this arc so much. They're kind of kooky adventures. It's not compelling. It's weird. I'm waiting for something to happen. It's the most overrated book. So it's 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 a mess. It sucks. In case people want to know. But that that that's an interesting uh like that whole um I don't understand. Um, I have Trio here. Correct. This is a John Byrne issue. <laughs> um, da, 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 da. I actually heard, I don't know if I should say anything. Because <laughs> I, I think blah, blah, blah. Yeah. When do I have time to, to? Yeah. I just, I haven't read it. So Trio is good because I'm such a big John Byrne fan. I gave it a three. <laughs> <laughs> Did the, I say the, something? I wasn't into that. Uh, Avenging Spider-Man. So this was by... Kath- Catherine Imonen and Stuart Imonen. A lot of people don't really want to hang out with Spider-Man. Spider-Man's teaming up with She-Hulk. So I was like, this is great. She has this tattoo on her back. I don't know if she still has that. I don't think that's what it is. She wanted to do it. And she's not a little girl anymore. Just in time for my birthday. Tell Jason The Aaron. fuzzy and the scaly. Tell Jason Hanging Aaron out. To do it. Playing together after they do it. We don't need death all the time. So, um, Clearly, we're just speculating what about what's going on. What was I going to say? And doesn't remember who he is. I don't know if I will. Uh-huh. Um, is this the last one? Too much a... to read, Tony. Uh, how about Wolverine and the X-Men? Cyclops uh, shows up and Cyclops has been the biggest jerk ever. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so it's, it's so, because like, I, I think, I think it's, it's, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I had a love hate relationship with that issue. I don't know what that is. That was really stupid. No, I do think it's it's kind of stupid in, in a lot of ways, but you don't know, sir. So there's crazy things going on there. There wasn't a lot of news this week. Oh, good. But we didn't cover news last week because James was here talking and talking and talking, which pissed me off with this flower, flowery dialogue. I'm trying to figure out what happened. Um, um, mm-hmm. um, Avengers is very successful. Now, some people really like this. I thought this was just okay. It's like, what was it, like 
eight hundred dollars or something like that. <laughs> it's like twenty thousand dollars or something crazy. Yet on our community, people are like not really liking it so much. Mm. Mm-hmm. What was I going to say? So whatever. I don't know. Yeah, that is it. All, All right. right, that's it. Bye, guys. Sarah, you suck. the holes <laughs> that was really stupid i don't know